Oh, you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Just a quick video here. Mike Tyson against Evander Holyfield 3, July the 11th in Saudi Arabia. Who wants to see that? We've got two old men who've got financial problems coming back to earn millions of pounds. <coughs> what does that say about all these kids that are turning pro and trying to make the way in boxing when we've got guys in the mid 50s that are just going to come back and, and, and take take money, to take more money? What, why, why is that? Evander Holyfield, hmm. Evander Holyfield turned pro 36 years ago, right? Well, these men are these men are ready for bus passes, right? Why can they come back and just earn this kind of money? Why? Why? Why is that? Why is that? And why are people on social media these gimps from Gimpville Island? These they're not even casuals no more. They are super casuals why are these people all raving about looking at mike tyson on the pads for 60 seconds what's all that about what what's all that about it's just madness and boxing is now becoming a circus it's becoming a circus and do you know mma i don't know nothing about mma i've never studied it i think it's probably too late for me to study it now and have a decent ish opinion but <laughs> Could you imagine Dana White bringing back guys in the mid 50s pushing 60? What? Well, what next? We're gonna have Lennox Lewis and Riddick Bow. Have you seen Riddick Bow? Have you seen how he speaks? What? What we're gonna have next? Mike Tyson quit against. He quit against Danny Williams, didn't he? And uh, Kevin McBride. And what, what was that? 16 years ago. I don't want to see it. I want to remember him as great fighters, but Olafield done 300 million and so did Mike Tyson. They were massive gamblers and didn't handle the money well. Olafield were a big gambler and we know what Tyson were, don't we? They had on, on, hangers on. He had hangers on that had hangers on. <laughs> the hangers on had hangers on hanging around then. You know. It's a joke, I don't want to see it, just because Mike Tyson looks good for 60, 60 seconds on pads, it doesn't mean jack. It's an insult to all them kids that are turning pro, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it at all. Everybody in the boxing industry knows that Mike Tyson's got massive, massive financial problems, massive. They're just coming back to secure the kids' futures and to probably learn from their mistakes when they when they had money before, but that, that's not our fault. So why should they be coming back and pinching millions of pounds? I don't agree with it. Anybody that does, it's shocking. They're, not, they're in the 50s. It's not like they retired and they had the belts when they retired and they were champions and they still had the belts, is it? You know, it, the, these men are mid 50s and Holyfield, what is Holyfield? He must be pushing 60, is he? He's, he's older than Mike Tyson, isn't he? It's a joke. It's a joke, and I don't agree with it. And I think people should, should you know, at least say something. Say the back in this. I mean, yeah, it will sell because the two names aren't they? It'll sell, but I don't think it's good for the sport. That's my opinion. So peace out.